is a pleasure to finally meet you and to do business with you today. You look awfully familiar. Do you know Hiram Lodge? Oh, you worked with him before? <laughs> That's my daddy Gins. He's cool, but he's always trying to tell me what to do. Just like today when I told him I was coming to make some business sales. And he wanted to tell me what and where and how. And I told him, I bought pops by myself. I will sell it by myself. Don't you worry. Anyway, okay. Let's take a look. Brought everything that I think you shall need and everything that you're gonna need to know about Pops. First of all, welcome. I hope you had a chance to look around before I got here. I bought this place. It's been a wonderful, wonderful place for me and my friends to hang out, but it's time to move on to bigger and better. However, I do have a little bit of a catch for you. I'm hoping that you will still want to go through and buy this property once I tell you that I do have a non-alcoholic speakeasy here below Pops, um, and I'm willing to sell that to you as well, but I still would like to manage it if that's okay with you. I really love my speakeasy down there, La Bonne Nuit. <laughs> that's what it's called. It's French for good night, in case you didn't know. But, um, yeah, we can take a look. Let's see what you think, and I'm all about business and coming up with the best deal for the both of us, okay? So let's take a look. Let me first take this big purse off to see if I brought a pen with me. Oh, I brought my planner, can't forget that. I brought a calculator so we can calculate what your expenses will be each month. And last but not least, I do have a pen. So let's go ahead and look at these together. I brought, uh, honestly, everything that I think you will need. So let's see, this is the deed of sale. Don't need that yet until you're sure that you want to purchase. I brought the tax bill for the property taxes. Of course, you will have to pay that. And I also brought the monthly electric bill so you can take a look and figure out about how much you'll be spending on electric and gas for both Pops and the place down below. So let's see. Let's first take a look at the tax bill. Uh, I try to do everything I can to pay it the least amount in taxes, so I think I probably helped you out a little bit because I've pulled some strings over the years. Let's get this calculator working. So you're going to have one, two, three, four payments, okay? That's what's gonna, it's gonna be four installment payments for your tax property, for your, I'm sorry, property taxes. So you will have that. I will show you. It was rather cheap this year. I'm not gonna lie. I think I only paid about 900 and some dollars in property taxes. I told you. I know a lot of people. My dad, Hiram Lodge, of course, knows a lot of people. And I think you know my mom was the mayor, so I've pulled strings. So anyway, enough about that. We won't mention it anymore. Looks like here's what here's the breakdown of my payments for the last year. I made four installment payments. The first one was $394.77. Then the one, two, three next ones after that were for $190.190. And that's going to be plus $190 and plus $190. $964.77 I paid in property taxes last year. So you can expect to pay around that amount. I'm gonna assume it'll stay probably the same as long as you keep doing everything the way I have done it. You're down here, you're gonna have city and school taxes to pay. 
$2,800 a year for each of those. That you don't have a choice, you're gonna have to pay and I can't help you with that. <laughs> then, um, down here, if applicable, it depends on the weather, you just never know what's gonna happen. But we have street maintenance, roadway snowplow, sidewalk snowplow, and hazard sidewalk replacement. You can decide whether you want to keep these or not. These are things that I have for this business. That's down here, and if you want to take anything out of there, you're more than welcome to do that, which will, of course, lower your payment um, quarterly. So here, take a look at that if you wish. I also have the electric bill for the monthly expenses. I'll break it down for you really quick. I won't take up too much of your time. If this sounds good, if we can come to an agreement for La Bonne Nue downstairs, and as long as we agree on everything, like I said, I do have the deed of sale here. I can sign everything over. You can give me the check. I'm assuming you did get a cashier's check. Okay, perfect. Had to make sure. Alright, let's look at this. So, this is going to be, um, this was for one month, remember, it's going to be pups and downstairs. The breakdown of this for that month was $1,592.99. That was actually on the lower end. I usually pay around $1,800 just for the electric each month. So let's do a little average here. I want to make sure you really know what you're getting into. I'm not one for scamming or pulling a fast one on anyone. I want to make sure you know exactly what you're doing when you buy this property from me because I would be absolutely devastated if you bought it, you can't afford it, and then it goes down in the dumps. I've spent a lot of money here. So let's just say 1800 okay? Let's just play it safe. It's never been more than that. That's about the cap, all right? 1800 times 12. You're looking at $21,600 a year just in electric and gas for these places. 21,600, okay? The only thing I did not bring because I do not believe is 100% necessary was the sales that I've been making, um, the retail sales. I did not bring that with me because I truly believe it's a lot about the owner. You could be making more than what I make here a month. You could be making less. It all depends on what you're willing to do for this community, for Pops, and for La Bonne Nue. <laughs> Don't you just love the name of that? Okay. So, how does that sound to you? Does that sound like something that you're comfortable paying t roughly 21000 a year for? Electric? Yeah. Again, that's not even your... Well, you know what? I think that's fine because you're going to have, like I said, quarterly payments for taxes for the property. And those are cheap. The first one's going to be 400 After that, they're going to be 200 quarterly. Every four months, not bad. This place is paid off, so you're not going to have rent or anything like that. I bought this place completely out of pocket, full price. There's no loans you need to take over, nothing. And then down here, I did a breakdown of what's being spent. So if you look at this right here, can you see this orange circle? This is the breakdown of the expenses. So of that, 1,592, gas was 2% of that. Other 8%, so that's like your other charges and credits, mostly gas to be honest. <laughs> and electric is 90% because this covers almost this whole entire circle. Other than that, here's the electric charges down here. $524, bond charge, $230 for that. Just your typical stuff, okay? Then you have your state surcharge tax, which is going to be 6.075% and your state regulatory fee, 6.075%. I'm sure you're smart. You can figure it out. You worked with Hiram after all and he doesn't pick dumb ones. And yeah, I guess that sounds good. Let me make a day here 
Are you okay with me still being the manager of the speakeasy? Okay, well, let's figure out some numbers then. I would like a pretty good percentage. You may own it, as I mentioned, of course. I have the deed here for you. But I would like a pretty generous percentage. I will keep it decorated, stocked. I'll manage it. You will just own it. Is there a specific number that you have in mind that you're willing to part with? 20%? Oh no, baby, that's not enough. I'm gonna need at least, I'm thinking, 60. Hmm. Now, now, now. I don't like when people underestimate me. I can bring you so much business just by having my name still attached as a foundation, number one, because I did create that speakeasy. And number two, my name is connected to Pops. People know that I own it right now. They'll probably be devastated when I sell it, but it's actually going to be beneficial to you to have my name still connected here. So I'm going to advise you to probably do at least 60% if you want to be successful. For Pops up here, you can keep it all. You can keep whatever money you make from Pops. I just want from La Bonnie Nui. Deal? Check on it. Thank you. Okay. Let's get this contract signed then. So let's see. I'm going to go over this with you just to make sure no one's getting scammed here. And you know what? Do you have the check? I would just like to take a peek. Cashier's check. Okay. Okay, that looks good. Thank you. Veronica Lodge of legal age and citizen in residing in dot 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 which is here, so let me fill out this point. And I'm gonna need you to fill out your name up here. You'll just write that. This is the transfer certificate of title number 0347. A parcel of land I'm giving you. Then we have the vendor expenses, fees, and taxes. I went over all of that with you. We will have to make a day to go meet and file. What day works for you? We'll figure that out once we sign this contract. Um, I am going to write on the back of this that we agreed. We'll have to make sure that we get an actual binded contract for this. But I'm going to write that the agreed amount for Veronica is 60% of sales from Laban Pops you get 100% of sales and let's initial this and sign it actually same page here. And then, let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look too. I want to tell you, um, for La Bonnie Nue, I'm usually making around 12000 a month there. So... That'll leave me with about 7200 a month if you continue sales. I promise to do my best to drive more sales up. Now that you will be owning it, I can maybe execute some parties, of course, under your approval. But since I'm managing it, I think we can make something work out there. Okay, this is the tax bill. This is the breakdown of the monthly electric bill. Let me see what else we have to do here on this deed of sale. 
And then let's find a day that it works for both of us to go down to the courthouse and get a contract. Um, before me, with my hand in seal this day, so today is the 21st of 2020, and of June. Jeez. Alright, um, so the vendor obviously is me, I signed this. Now you just have to sign the vendor part, please. And do you have any other questions or anything that you need to ask me? Or that we need to resolve that I have missed? Okay, good. Well, you'll be seeing me shortly anyway. Which reminds me, let's go ahead and get out... Let's get out my calendar so we can find a time that's going to work for both of us to go meet. We are in... June. for your busy schedule. Exactly, yes. We are here at the 21st. How about... Hmm, I think I may be able to fit you in on the 24th. Could you do that? Okay. Well, how about we say... Um, geez, let me look. How about we say... This is gonna be tight. I have to go to... Let's see. You don't need to know where I have to go. Why am I telling you? How about we make it 2 p.m. at the courthouse? How does that sound? Works for you? Okay, perfect. I'm glad. Got that signed? Okay. And let me just sign off down here. You now officially own Pops, and what am I gonna say? La bonne nuit. <laughs> so, congratulations on owning your new business. I am grateful that you are going to still allow me to manage um, downstairs, of course. Up here, you get free reign. But in case you ever need any business ideas or tips, because like I said, Pops is very special to me. I know a lot about Pops and the people that come in here, so if you ever need any tips or hints, let me know. I would be more than happy to help you. Otherwise, I will take this check to the bank right now. Mm. $460,000. Oh. My dad would be so proud. <laughs> he probably wouldn't be able to do half as good as I do at these business sales, but don't tell him I said that. Well, in that case, I guess we are done here. Let's pack up. I will take the deed with me, because we're going to need that at the courthouse. You may keep these tax records and the breakdown of the bills, if you wish. And other than that, I guess we are done here. Again... It was an absolute pleasure doing business with you. I will see you in a few days at the courthouse to get that contract filed. Alright.